got ambushed when you were in team three. Yep. Tell me a little yep. bit about that. That was a good one. So, uh, I can see it on the map exactly where we want, but we called this like, I forget the name of the valley that we kind of rode up in, but it was essentially, we were breaking the rule of, um, a rule of patrolling by coming back the same into an expo route, making it the same. So there's no black and red routes, right? So there's only really one way in, one way out. And we knew that. So as I'm, you know, the deal, we were planning the routes for the teams. I could see, that this was a fancy we were driving through a fantastic ambush route <laughs> right and uh and i'm like this this is great so we had uh right put on some trps up on the hill um which came in handy later so was fucking, that was fantastic but um we moved through there in a um hilux convoy and we were running with uh, uh oga Okay. We went through there with OGA, so you know there's get kinda, a ton of locals with you, bunch of trucks. Yeah, yeah. and you know you're going to fight like it's happening, yeah. and that yeah. that was great. And uh, I typically had every asset that I wanted right there, probably more than I really needed, you know. And, sure. uh, so that was good. Um, but we've got these brand new Hilux trucks uh, that were up armored now because before we remember the old half windows. Yep. You yep. had to shoot out the half. These ones were the full windows, and they would actually come down a little bit. You could roll them down. Yeah, and brand new suspension, turbo Hilux. These things were fantastic, and we were all a little bit excited to have these brand new trucks. I think the Navy built them. Yeah, I can't remember. Right, so we got this truck, and it's badass. And uh, we're going into this fight, and we go. And I think the fight. I think the. Uh, I think it was a dry hole. If I remember, uh, right. I don't remember anything significant happening there. Maybe, maybe we got what we needed, or maybe a couple strikes, but or a couple of. Uh, Couple of shots fired, but nothing that fantastic. Or maybe on the, the way guy there, or yeah, I don't remember what it was. It was pretty insignificant, though. It was one of the many, right? But yeah. rolling in there, I'm scanning with AC130, and he sees these hot uh, bedrolls up on the up on the um, the high ground, not far from where I laid in some TRPs. There was also a small road at the top of this, like a uh, you know along the military crest of this hill, and as we're Coming up in there, I kind of marked those and said, hey, make a couple of steer points for the fixed wing. So went up there, did a thing, and drive a hole. And on the way back, we stopped the convoy for whatever reason, right right in the middle of where those uh, hot spots, where those bedrolls were. And I'm talking to the aircraft, and I was like, this isn't good. And uh, it's Chris Salee that was, uh, yeah, my, yeah. Uh, team, right? I like yeah, that yeah. game a lot. Yeah, he's great. Chris, and I was like, Chris. Tell them we can't stop here. Don't we're not we'll stop here. We don't want to stop here. And uh, I think it was a broke down vehicle or a flat tire. I don't remember. I was like, we don't want to stop here, push one through. And it was too late. We already stopped. You know, you had all the all the guys, the OGA guys to kind of corral. Yeah. So we get out and I'm pulling security outside of the, the bed of the truck. And then we we take heavy, heavy, heavy uh, close range uh, RPK fire. It was pretty intense. So the guy driving uh another rsc guy george uh he's up in bragg with the army guys now. okay yeah we know Fan dude. yeah fantastic great. Guy, i know man. who you're talking about great dude yeah we can yeah man uh, that guy right there it was cool uh he got a chance we were running those little uh um i think they're h and k little two or threes oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With us. <laughs> and he was thumping dudes on the hill with that uh <laughs> while i was bringing in or uh working with the a10s to bring them in so right. we're getting peppered down pretty hard with this RPK. Well, Chris Salee was on the floorboards with the sat radio trying to get me some more air, uh, trying to get some more aircraft and sitting and sit right back and letting them know what's up. But it was yeah. so loud in the truck because they were peppered inside of that truck so loud. You couldn't hear anything. Oh so he God. got down as low as he could, and he's calling back to let them know what's up and trying to get me some more air. Yeah. So I stuck my head in there and said, uh, hey, Chris, uh, you know, you want me to – you go hot on these guys. He's like, yes, please. So we brought in, I brought in A-10s and uh, with guns, brought them in with guns and then brought them in with some heavy, um, uh, I think they're Mark 82s or something up on top of the hill as well. I figured they'd probably egress up the hill. And then we sent the local guys, uh, those GA guys out to kind of sweep the hill. Uh, crazy, crazy time. They, uh, they're actually rolling hand grenades down the hill and they're going off underneath a truck. 
Jeez. And uh, George got hit, uh, got hit in the leg. Oh, no that way. Way. Yeah, yeah, so that was crazy. Uh, didn't really how bad, did, how bad was he injured? Wasn't too bad. I don't think he really even realized until later. Uh, just a chunk went in there pretty Oh, deep. okay. Crazy. So it wasn't too but, bad. It wasn't too bad. But okay. the funny thing was, going in and out of the truck, it seemed like I, I could see, you know, uh, Tracer's I, I could tell you're getting shot at pretty close, you know what I mean? So yeah. coming in and out of the truck, from the bed of the truck to the back seat, we had an interpreter with us. <laughs> I wish I could remember this dude's name, man, but he really wasn't much bigger than me. Yeah. And he didn't like being in the truck because it was loud. And uh, it oh, was yeah. beat. And uh, so he kept getting out. And with him rolling the hand grenades down, I kept putting him in front of the tire because I was afraid that, you know what I mean? So in and yeah. out of the he's there. Well, I'm going back and forth, um, yelling at Chris, yelling at the, and George, and uh, I'm, I keep tripping over this this guy. <laughs> and uh, it, it was just a nightmare of a situation where every time I'd go to run by, I would fall down, and I'd pick him up, throw him back in the truck. And it's like, don't get out of the truck. And the next thing I know, I'm tripping him where he didn't want to stay in the, in the truck. Didn't he know that? I mean, he knew there was a bomber, right? I mean, uh, he, I that's probably the that, safest place to be. I mean, I was rolling Peltors, and it was a very loud environment inside of that no, he, tent. But the, but, the, but the Terp didn't know that he was in, in an up armored vehicle. That you know he could he he should stay inside sure. and not get out. Or I'm not sure, but he did not want to stay in there, and I couldn't keep him in there long enough. I remember at one time the vehicle uh, was actually left in neutral and it started to roll, and I'm um, uh, and I'm, I'm realizing I'm going beside it, and I look, and uh, George is jumping back in the driver's seat. So we almost ran off a almost fell off a cliff. I mean, all the, you know, I mean, all the chaos was happening. Yeah, so we, we got to set the parking breaker. I was gonna off, say they're all know. manual transmission, so it's not like, you know, yeah, you, somebody probably just bumped it into neutral or I don't, who knows what happened. That's crazy. In the end, it was pretty good. Got a couple gun runs with the A10s, dropped some bombs up top. Pretty heavy casualties on our side as well. And an OGA, OGA guy got hit in the neck on that one. It was it was it was a crazy thing. He didn't make it. Oh, he so, didn't make it. Okay. He did not. No. Nope. Um, Dang it. Yeah. You know, that happened right in front of our truck, too, man, which was incre- incredible because it was a pretty steep train. And then on the other behind us, it was, it was, a, it dropped off. Uh, must yeah. have been low ground water or something like that. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, those trails um, were just crazy. Yeah, it was nuts, man. But, uh, you so, know, that was the first time and only time I've ever seen. Uh, we had AC-130 flying in the daytime for us uh, oh, really? to get out of there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's um, good, yeah. I didn't shoot. I mean, that, that says a lot because that's not optimal for them. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you know you know, you're in a bad way if, they're, if those guys are hanging out Yeah. in the daytime for sure. So what the, happened? Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, no, I was going to say that the, the, the brand new truck that we had – Oh yeah, <laughs> which was, I, I, got peppered up no so bad. Didn't, didn't have any tire. Like uh, I mean, it was on the run flats. I mean, it was just shot up really bad. You couldn't see out of the windows. It looked like someone just laid an RPK right in Chris's window. You know, it was crazy. God, and uh, I couldn't believe no rounds came through. If they did, they didn't hit anybody. Thank God, you know. Yeah. But um, it's a testament to we, I'm looking at windows. this truck. And I told I told Chris, I was like, hey man, we don't have a choice. I'm gonna drop one this thing. Leave it here, let's go. Like get everything out of it, we're gonna blow this thing. And I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Let's drop this right, thing. Right. Let's drop this thing, right? <laughs> so we started to collect everything out and he calls back, you know, just to let them know what they're doing. They're like, No, do not. If it runs, you get it out of there. I don't care what you do. <laughs> so I think we hooked the toe strap to it and half drove it, half whatever, and got it out of there. And yeah, it those made it for a long cheap. trip back. Those were no, not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> but I really wanted to drop on one. I yeah, for sure. Especially a brand new one. 